everybody, I hope you are all well. I apologize for the weirdness of this angle. Um, basically, it's really, really difficult to film in, um, in Poland, I have found, because the lighting is rubbish. It's really difficult to position the camera as well, but you are quite low. So there's a lot of body and not a lot of um, head. Today, I wanna to talk about some books. Oh, I'm actually really excited to talk about books. I feel like I haven't said anything about them for ages. So today I just wanted to sort of basically tell you what I plan to read um, in the next few weeks. I will be doing a video talking about the books that I plan to read on my Kindle, um, so my actual like TBR, um, but for the moment we are going to be talking about audiobooks. And I love, I love Audible. Um, I've had it for, like I say, ages now and I use it all the time. And especially here, because I can't have physical books, I have one book with me, I have to rely on my Kindle and my Audible. By the way, this isn't a sponsor. Other brands are available. <laughs> there's only five. Um, I have more books on my Audible, but there's five that I want to listen to, like, soon. And they're quite strange. They're quite like a variety and that's what I quite like. Um, with books I tend to sort of stick to what I like and what I know, whereas with audiobooks I'm just like, I, I like impulse buy. I'm like, yeah, that sounds good. Um, so we have a, quite a range of stuff. The first one is Uncommon Type by Tom Hanks. I've seen this around quite a lot quite a lot, even though I haven't been able to go into bookshops, like I still know it's a thing. To be honest, I'm quite skeptical. Um, I don't know, I love the man. Oh my God, I love him so much. I think he's just a great actor and just the most wonderful person. He's always at my like dinner party as well. He's always the person that I pick first um, for my fictional dinner party. Um, but yeah, I just don't know if he's gonna be able to write. I haven't really heard anything like either way, so I don't know how it could go. I'm really excited to read it, um, and I was just sort of intrigued by it, especially if it has like his name on it. It, might, it can't be like total crap. So I'm excited, I'm excited to, to read it, and I hope you don't let me down, Tom. <laughs> the second one is How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. I actually have this on my Kindle as well. I'm quite actually looking forward to that because I haven't ever done that before where you listen to it on audiobook and read it at the same time. So I'm quite excited for that. I feel like it will engage me in a different kind of way. This book, I really like Matt Haig's writing. I did a review on The Humans, um, which is linked below somewhere, probably. I was really intrigued by this because I love, I love the, the subject of time and time travel. Not that this is time travel, but it's like time in, in books. I really, really love it. Um, so I'm really excited to see how it's used. It sounds a lot like, you know, like Benjamin Button or Age of Adeline or something like that, where somebody just doesn't age, or at least ages very slowly. Um, I'm very intrigued by the premise and I, I'm looking forward to seeing where he goes with it and I can't wait to read it. The third book is quite strange. Again, it's, it's sort of probably the one that sticks out the most, but it is called Ask an Astronaut by Tim Peake. I love Tim Peake, right? He, he is just the sweetest guy. And it's really funny because he is in some English airports. I don't know if it was Manchester or if it was London I saw him in, it might have been London. But as soon as you land in London, you basically get this huge poster of Tim Peake's smiley little face. And I can't, I remember, maybe it was coming back from Laos, but I was like, tired and like I felt disgusting but he was just there with his like smiley little ginger face and it just made me feel so much better so I, I downloaded his book I am really intrigued by the whole topic of space anyway so basically I got his book called Ask an Astronaut which is lots of questions that I'm sure he gets asked every day um, and he answers them, basically. That is the premise of the book. And I don't even know if it's for kids. I don't know who the book is targeted at. It's literally the first time I've seen it while I've been out here. So I haven't seen it in any shops or like in person. But I was just, I saw it and I was like, I really want that. The next one I actually pre-ordered, I haven't got it yet. It is Murder on the Orient Express. And it is, this is actually an Audible exclusive because it's like a dramatization of, um, Matter on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. I've actually read this book before, many, many years ago. I actually remember the twist. I remember what happens. I remember who the murderer is. 
I don't think that spoils it for you. I think you can reread like mystery books and Agatha Christie books, I think, and still be able to enjoy it, I think. So I'm quite looking forward to this. I'm quite looking forward to hearing it read with different like narrators and acted out um, because I do actually quite want to see the film with Kenneth Branagh that's coming out. Yeah, I thought it would like, I don't know, get me in the Agatha Christie mood. And the final book is The Keeper of Lost Things by Ruth Hogan. Basically, I was just drawn to this book because I kept seeing pictures of it and the cover was just really pretty. Um, I really hope it's like a character driven book because that's the sort of thing that I really like reading. And I am really, really excited for this one. I don't really know much about the plot at all. I will leave links down in the description below if you want to go and check it out. Yeah, just something about this book really drew me to it and I don't often buy um, fiction when I'm listening to books because I feel like I need to read it and really take my time to get the, the image in my head whereas if it's non-fiction I feel like it's really easy to listen to it because it's like somebody's just chatting to you whereas if it's fiction I feel like I really want to take my time and like think about it but I'm really excited for this anyway um, I can't wait to read it and yeah and hopefully let you guys know what I think about it and those are just a few of the books that I have downloaded recently on Audible. Hopefully you have read some of them. If you have, then do let me know what you think. Um, I'm really excited to get into all of them. I just want to really quickly shout out to Studio Sweden who sent me um, these headphones to listen to all my audiobooks on. Again, this isn't sponsored, um, but I was just sent these headphones. Um, they are just really, really great, really great quality and just really nice to listen to my audiobooks on. I'm just really, really happy to have something to be able to listen to and with and just come home from work, chill out and just completely let my mind go blank and uh, chill out with an audiobook. If anything exciting has been happening to you guys, then do let me know. As ever, thank you so much for watching, commenting. If you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.